Now OnePlus has been one of my favorite OEM manufacturers for devices over the years starting with the OnePlus 3 and 3T and you guys know the reasons behind it they make brilliant flagship level devices with a very good value for money and stuff like that but that is not the complete story the complete story comes to the user experience and the software updates and if we talk about this bad boy here that is the OnePlus 6 since the time it launched with Oxygen OS 5.1.3 or 5.1.4 it has had about six to seven different updates and we are just nearing about almost two months since the time it was released so seven to eight OTA updates in two months you know it defines that the company is committed to provide you excellent user experience and take care of all the bugs that you're facing now today we're going to talk about hydrogen os which is a chinese variant of oxygen os and doesn't come with google play services but the reason we are talking about it well because eventually all the same updates and fixes will be coming up to oxygen os in a couple of days maybe a week at the most so there are quite a few sizable changes and fixes that have come with this particular update and i've been running it since this morning and i'm pretty pretty impressed so that's what we are going to do. This is a quick overview of Hydrogen OS 5.1.11 for the OnePlus 6 and we are just going to look at the features and the things that have been changed. Apart from that, if you guys want me to make a video on how to move from Oxygen OS to Hydrogen OS or from Hydrogen OS to Oxygen OS, let me know in the comment section. If I have enough comments, I will go ahead and make a video on that. And before we begin, if you haven't already, please subscribe because we do awesome stuff with smartphones at Smartphone Tutorials and hit that notification notification bell icon so that you don't miss any uploads from us. At the same time, here's a card to my second channel that is Kratos390. Go ahead and check that channel out as well. Now without further ado, hello awesome people, welcome to Smartphone Tutorials. My name is Kalash. Let's begin. Alright guys, so welcome to another video yet again and as today's video is about an update, let's first go ahead and have a look at the change log and then, you know, maybe I can share my experiences because I have been working with this particular software since this morning, I would say. Yeah, I flashed it in the morning. So first up, updated Android security patch to July 2017. Finally, we were still on May since the last one month or so, but they have updated the security patch. Apart from that, they have fixed accidental touches triggering gestures like when I used to draw V, there were some weird things that were happening, rarely, not all the time, but yes, that has been fixed. Apart from that, general bug fixes and improvements, added sleep standby optimization. So the battery drain problem, which was there in Oxygen OS 5.1.8, I was also facing the same. The screen on time had reduced by an hour or so, so that should be fixed. Apart from that, this is a welcome change. Now we'll have to wait and see how different the quality actually is, but it does say that improved image quality. Apart from that, added beauty mode for selfie portrait, which is another good thing. So all of you selfie lovers out there, if you love to take a selfie portrait, well, you have beautification available now. So apart from that, if we go to wireless and networks, optimized stability for Wi-Fi connection, optimized gaming experience in dual 4G networks, that is a good thing. Fixed stability issue with Bluetooth car connections, that's great. Now, the most important change for a lot of people over here because a lot of people these days are playing PUBG that is player unknowns battleground I played myself is fixed low background sound issues after turning on the microphone for games that is PUBG and knives out so I don't know about knives out but I definitely definitely do play player unknowns battleground and I have tested it so I'm glad to report that once you turn the microphone on or off the sound issue that used to happen earlier is not there anymore now as I said in the intro these are clearly a lot of changes that the users have been requesting for and it's good to see that a company like oneplus has delivered now let me talk about my experience over here let's quickly go to the home screen and the first thing that I would like to notify or the first change that I observed over here is that the scrolling, you know, now OnePlus 6 always has been a very, very fast phone, of course, because it is powered by the mighty Snapdragon 845, which is the latest and greatest. But what I've noticed here is that a very slight difference. Now, if you're someone like me who's using, you know, a AOSP based phone for a long time and you are using Oxygen OS, now compared to Oxygen OS 5.1.8, the phone is very, very snappy. The phone is very, very quick. I mean, it was quick earlier. I don't know how to explain this, but there's that micro millisecond difference that I can see in the transition animations and stuff like that. It is fluid 
much more fluid compared to how it was and the second major change that i have observed of course is the battery life now i had charged this particular phone till say around 98% we have lost in 4 hours around 20% and almost an hours of screen on time has been consumed so far so that should you know theoretically give me around 6 to 7 hours of screen on time over a period of a day maybe so that is another good welcome change over here now let me just go ahead and show you the selfie portrait mode there you go there you go so beauty mode is there in the rear camera when you're shooting portrait and now you have it in the front camera as well so those are the notable changes apart from that it is very very early but what i would say is that the major bugs or major issues that you have been encountering with oxygen os 5.1.8 small issues like you know if there was some screen tearing or lag or anything of that sort any battery issues game issues like player unknowns battleground and a few features have been added as well so that sums it up for this very very quick and short video i am planning to cover all the updates that are given to this device because this is my daily driver and might as well share it with the community now once again let me know in the comment section if you want me to make a video on how to install hydrogen os and how to get back from hydrogen to oxygen on a locked and unlocked bootloader at the same time guys if you really liked this video please go ahead and hit that like button and I'm sure you would have subscribed by now. For now, this is Kailash signing off at Smartphone Tutorials. See you in the next one. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.